Good morning. It's good to be with you this morning. And we're going to read Hebrews chapter 3 from the Peshitta, the spoken language of Jesus. It's such a beautiful transliteration. All right, let's begin. Hebrews chapter 3. Therefore, my holy brothers, who are called with a calling from heaven, behold this shlicha, sent one, and the rab kumre, the priest chief of our confession or religion, ishu meshicha, Yeshua, the anointed one, who is faithful unto him who produced him, as Moshe Moses was in all his house. For much more is the praise of this one than from Moshe Moses, as much more as the honor of the builder of the house is from the house. For every house is built from mankind, but he who built everything is Allah, God. And Moshe, Moses, as an abda, a slave, a servant, was faithful in all of his house for a testimony of what was preparing to be spoken through him. Yet Meshicha, the anointed one, as the son concerning his house, whose house we are, if until the end we hold firm our confidence and the glorifying of his hope. Because of this, the Ruchad Kudsha, the spirit of holiness, spoke. This day, if you hear his voice, don't harden your hearts to provoke him as the contentious did likewise in the day of trial in the Madbra, the wilderness. When your fathers tempted and tried me, beholding my works forty years, because of this I was wearied by that generation and spoke, a people whose hearts wander and who don't know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they will not enter my rest. Be careful, therefore, my brothers, lest there be in a man from you an evil heart, not believing, which departs from the living Allah, God. But inquire into this from your soul all the time, until the day that is called today, lest there come a hardening of mankind from the deception of sin. For we are fused with Meshicha, the Anointed One, if from the beginning until the last. In this covenant we steadfastly preserve. As it is spoken today, if you hear the utterance of his voice, don't harden your hearts to anger him. For who is it who heard and angered him? Was it not all those who went out from Egypt by the means of Moshe? And in whom was he wearied for forty years, but in those who sinned, and their bones fell in the Madbra, the wilderness? And concerning whom did he swear they would not enter his rest, but about those who were not persuaded? And we see they were not able to enter because of disbelief. What a beautiful passage. Thank you for joining me this morning. I hope you're all doing great. And uh, this is Josh signing off from the Holy Land, the Middle East. I'm here in Jordan. It's nice to be with you. Bye now.